What's going on guys, Kaigi here, and today I'm going to talk to you about Galago's Dungeons. We had some big changes with the Cantana update, and I'm going to show you how to get the most out of it. So Galago's Ruins just had some major changes and the Cantana update. For the global players checking this out, let me show you what the actual gameplay of Galago's looks like. So in Galago's Ruins, as you see here, you go from node to node, fighting battles, doing whatever that room is. You will have the magic order, which is a big thing that got changed, so I'll show that to you in a minute. But each room, you'll see normal battle area, unknown, elite battle, a ghost merchant, uh, even ancient Galago's fault, and boss battle area. Let me show you some screenshots to kind of show you what to expect. So this is a trap room you'll see above my head. Uh, Galagos Ruins uh, third floor 1-1 trap sector. Uh, you will have a lot of traps with the spikes, with the uh, fans, and with um, the fire poles uh, towards the higher levels. You'll also have the freeze traps that you saw during some of the quests to get here. Uh, then we have the stone statue, which depending on the floor level, so floor one, there will only be one pillar. Floor two, there will be two. Floor three, you will have all three. Floor four, you will also have all three. You go to these and then you get bonuses. This is very similar to a roguelike game. Uh, something important is it'll say what it affects. So monster, monster, archer. What's important is your summoner also has a type. Uh, it could say summoner right here and then only your summoner will get that effect. Uh, it could say hold team which will affect you and your monsters. But for example, I'm playing Orvia here, if this said mage type, it would affect any of the mages on my team, including my Orvia. Then we have Ghost Merchant, uh, which if we go and talk to him, uh, he will sell us some scrolls, runes, things like that. He has been updated to sell six star runes, which is very interesting. You can click and hold the runes, to check the quality and what the uh, substats before you choose to buy it. Now let's talk about the magic order. All right, so magic order is something that got changed very drastically in this Galagos Ruins. Galagos Ruins is every two weeks, so twice a month. There will be some requirements for your team as you see here. Uh, you, need, you pick 30 monsters, have to have at least three dark monsters, two archers, and one light archer uh, you will see uh, each season there will be some differences affecting your summoner the monsters that you're fighting and your creatures right here you'll see a uh, summoner dark weapon has increased damage monsters uh, dark monsters deal increased damage and creatures which are your monsters light creatures 50% attack now the thing that got changed is right above here right where it says add and then zero percent if you click there you get to add modifiers so these uh for the summoner one i am going to harm my summoner by giving myself decreased damage minus attack uh more damage taken what have you to get bonus gold or refined crystals you can pick up to three and you can change the editing time. You can go in, do a level, and if you fail, uh, maybe you had a hard, make it a normal, go uh, so on and so forth. And then you can keep trying until you fail and then take them all off and try again. Then for same thing for monsters and creatures, uh, I will give you a couple examples of the ones that I like. So what's interesting here is the one for your summoner, it was gold and refined stones. Over here in monster, it is gold and the seals, the actual currency for the shop, which I'll also show you in a second. 
So I like going for I like going for all seals, which will give you more currency because this is a very very good shop. Then creatures, if we t uh, sorry, I got that slightly mixed up. Monster is your monster, creature is the creatures in the uh, in the dungeon. Creature, if we take a look, increase their defense, increase their attack speed, increase their attack, increase their HP. But this is uh, current, the currency or refined stones. I think for the most part, the currency is better than the refined stones. You will get plenty of refined stones over time as you play. The currency is very, very important. Now, there's also two more aspects. Uh, selected will be the monsters that you selected. Research would be the buffs that you have so far. But you'll see right here, uh, it says season reset one times. Now, some people speculate that you'll be able to get uh, more rewards if you go through all four floors, reset, do it again. But when you click it, it says down here, rewards for previously completed stages cannot be obtained again even if you reset the exploration. I've had a couple people test it, and uh, the one thing I was curious about is if you see I had the choice of going top, middle, or bottom, if I go top and go through, reset, try going middle or bottom, I still will not get rewards for that. Now, to note for the reset, another thing that you also cannot reset is your monster choice. So take your time and choose that out. Uh, you can also uh, go through, as I said, uh, once you, you can change your order whenever you feel like so right now there's nothing on here because i just did the boss stage where i took things off so i could fight the boss but now that i'm uh going to the next stage i can put all my stuff back on and then go on to the next thing talking about the shop if we take a look at the stuff i bought for example uh light and darkness scroll uh legendary scroll pieces you can get 10, uh, 10 every two weeks, so uh, month every month and a half, you will have a uh, LD Legendary Scroll. You can get three LD Scrolls. This is one that people were skipping because uh, you weren't, we weren't able to get as much currency, but now we're getting plenty of currency if you're able to uh, take advantage of this. Then refining catalyst. How this works is uh, when you uh, refine your equipment, you can use a refining catalyst to automatically increase the quality of that uh, stat. Then obviously Devilmon, we have an outfit here. The outfit bonus is support monster HP, which is good. Ignore the treasure, that's bad. And the Supreme Galaxy Stone Box is very, very expensive, but it's something to build it towards because this will also help you with your legend, uh, sorry, um, your profession. Now, to talk about, there's two major uh, pieces that I want to help you with, and one is with Galagos Ruins, there's two things that you want to keep track of that you don't generally have to in most content one is potions down here so in most content you actually want to have them off because if you have a healer like Howl right here uh, when he goes to heal if you have your potions on auto it will also use the potion putting you in deficit uh, potions are going to be very very important because every monster has energy so they can only be used a certain number of times so having potions will allow you to get further using less monsters. In most cases, you're able to get through the first, maybe even the second floor just with your summoner. So taking negatives for your monsters when you're not using monsters is definitely a boon. Second would be food. 
So for example, this is one of my favorites right here, beef steak. Uh, not when you're doing it alone, but when you're on the boss stages and you're bringing in a team. Uh, monster attack plus 111. This is a huge, huge boon. And remember, you have three monsters, so that's three monsters getting 111 attack. Uh, another good one would be uh, something that gives you summoner attack or HP would be very, very powerful. And it really comes down to uh, picking the right buffs, bo uh, boons, depending on your team comp or your summoner. And I would recommend getting as far as you can and then resetting and trying it out, more testing. And who knows, maybe you get better boons, better buffs, even though you don't get uh, the rewards for the stages the second time around. Uh, up to the point that you got to. So for example, I'm right now at floor 4-2. Uh, if floor 4-2 is too much for me, even on the last day, I can uh, reset, try to get better buffs, better boons, and maybe I can get to floor 4-3 or 4-4. Uh, Let me know in the comment section down below if this helped you, and if you want a more in-depth look at Galagos. Till next time, guys.